Imagine this scenario. You get a call from the picture editor of a paper or magazine and the conversation goes like this. We love your image and want to use it on a spread, but the portrait format won't work. Do you have the image as a landscape? If you don't, then it could mean you're going to miss out on a tasty commission, but with a finicky photo, there's an alternative fix. By using the selection of tools, you can expand the canvas of the image before copy and pasting new pixels and filling the space to change the image from a portrait to landscape shot without compromising image quality. It's actually a really simple technique, but the results can transform the look and feel of the frame while offering the photographer a second take at composition. Now, we're not saying this technique will work perfectly for every image you try it on, but learning this little hack could come in very handy and one day might make the difference between your image ending up in print or being dragged into the recycle bin. So let's see how this technique comes together. With your image open in Infinity Photo, head over to the Layers panel on the right hand side of the interface. Our first job is to duplicate the layer and you can do this by pressing Ctrl and J or Apple and J if you're using a Mac. Next, locate the Add Pixel Layer icon at the bottom of the Layers panel, which is this checkerboard symbol here. You can now get rid of your original background layer, so drag it into the recycle bin and drag your pixel layer below your background layer. That's how they should look in the layer stack. Next up, head across to the left hand side of the interface and locate the crop tool. And the keyboard shortcut for this is C. Click on it and you'll see some handles and lines appear. Locate these corner handles and drag them out to expand the canvas. You can also lower the canvas for a more landscape format shot. To apply the crop, just hit the return button. You'll now see you've got your original image and some areas of transparent pixels to the left and right of the frame. Make sure the background layer is selected and then head to the rectangle marquee tool. And the keyboard shortcut for this one is M. Drag out a square just to the left of your subject. Make sure that no skin or elements of the body are included in this selection. And then you can copy and paste the pixels by pressing Ctrl and C and then pressing Ctrl and V. The next tool we need to locate is the move tool, which is identified by an arrow shape, or you can use the keyboard shortcut V. All we're going to do now, when the corner handles appear, is drag out these pixels that we have copy and pasted in there. And once you've stretched them to the side of the canvas, hit return. We're going to repeat this for the other side of the frame. So I'm going to go back and select the marquee tool. I'm going to highlight some pixels, making sure that I don't get any of the subject's body in there. I'm going to press Ctrl and C and Ctrl and V. And then I'm going to select the move tool again and stretch the pixels towards the end of the frame. So you can now see that we've expanded the canvas and reformatted it from a portrait image to a landscape image. All we need to do now is click on File, Export, and you can save this version of the image as a JPEG, TIFF or a PSD by selecting your choice and clicking Export. Thanks for watching, have fun expanding your canvases and I'll see you next time.